Hey everybody, Broke Dead Builds, coming to you just to go over electric fans and how they blow. Everyone loves a good blow job when it comes to fans, right? I know I do. So we're going to look at what you need to get in order to do electric fans on your C10 square body swap um, and kind of like the overview of what you need to, what you need to do to make them work. We'll talk about what you could look for at the junkyard as far as new to you parts, right? And kind of like how to wire it up. Um, and then we'll go back to the computer to kind of discuss some of the parameters to turn on um, and to change in order to get the electric fans to work. All right, electric fans, what you need. Electric fan from like a newer Silverado or uh, Escalade. Um, I think you find these more on the Escalades at the junkyard. Um, that's where I found mine. So you get the electric fan, get the harness for the fan. So get the plugs, the harness, the entire harness for the fan and then take that off as well as the fuse and relay box that's just for the fan. Um, there will also be a green and blue wire. That is the signal wires from the PCM to the relay to switch power on, power off for the low and high speed fan. So then after you get that, um, you want to get um, You want to get the um, correct pins for your PCM. So that green wire uh, for the fan, that's going to go to the blue connector pin 42. That's for fan control one. And then on the red or green connector, you'll use uh, pin 33. That is going to be for your um, fan two control, which is also used for the HVAC research door. So you might have a pin in there. If you do, you can just take it out, put the blue wire in place of that. If you depend that blue wire from the PCM connector at the junkyard, if not, then you could just use that pin, cut that wire and then solder the uh, blue wire to it. And there you go. So once you get that done, then the next step would be going to the computer and programming your PCM. We can look at that here in a minute. All right, so we're at the desk. We're gonna look at the parameters for enabling electric fans, particularly the series parallel fans that we were looking at that are factory um, from you know GM um, with that you know, the two fans and the relay fuse harness and all that stuff. So after you get everything hooked up, you know, wiring wise and all that, we're gonna look at what things to turn on, what switches and you know, all that stuff. So again, this stuff is just educational purposes, you know, take this however you would like, you know, you can use it as just a, uh, an example for when you're going through and doing this yourself. Um, there's lots of information out there. There's other people that have done similar stuff. Um, there's lots of information on, on the forums, um, you know, EFI live forum, HP tuner forum, LSX, all that stuff. There's tons of information, but this is kind of what I did when I was going through and setting up my fans. Um, the temperatures, um, that I have are just examples. Um, I adjusted my temps a little bit differently. Uh, based on where I'm at because um, it's a little bit hotter where I'm at so I want the fans to kick on sooner and I want the engine to run cooler um, so for this you know we're looking at you know 197 degrees for the fans for the fan one low speed fan to kick on and then um, 219 degrees for both high speed and low speed fan to kick on um, so we'll look at each parameter 
and uh, you know we'll, we'll talk about it real quick just to kind of give you an idea of what you can use um, so when you go into uh, universal patcher because this is what I like using you can use tuner pro it's pretty much similar uh, I might do a video about that later going through tuner pro um, but it's pretty much the same setup but for universal patcher um, you go into your bin file after you open it and you load it and you will type in fan and then you will see a vehicle system folder you expand that and then you'll see fans you can click on fans and then that will pull up all the parameters related for the fan um, it makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to go into each single one and make changes you can just see the list of everything um, so when you click that and you start seeing all these parameters um, you're going to see fan one high threshold, fan one low, fan two high, fan two low threshold, um, engine, uh, engine running fan one time, stuff like that. Um, we'll start at the very top. So looking at fan one high threshold, um, it's kind of convoluted. You'd think that that's when it would kick off, but technically the fan one high threshold is when um, the PCM sees a certain temperature, it will turn the fans on. Um, for this example, again, this is in Celsius, so you'll have to convert to Fahrenheit, um, but I already converted some of this just to give us an example. Uh, so we're at 91.91 degrees Celsius, which it's about 197 degrees Fahrenheit uh, when the fan one low speed fan kicks on um, and then for the temperature for it to see to turn the fan one off or the low speed fan off we're going to set that like half a degree cooler than what we set uh, the high threshold to so fan one low threshold will be like 91.4 which is uh, 196 degrees um, for fan two high threshold, so this is the temperature the PCM has to see to enable both fans. Um, we set that to 103.98 degrees Celsius, which looking at my conversion, uh, that is a, uh, 219 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, again, you can set that a little bit lower, which is fine. It's up to you. Um, and then the temperature that the PC has to see to disable high-speed fans, that's going to be 0.5 degrees higher than your fan one high threshold. So once, you know, fan one low sees, or once the PCM sees a temperature of 197.4, it'll kick fan, fan one on, the low-speed fan will cool the engine uh, if it doesn't cool it enough and the temperature goes up to uh, 198 um, the low speed fan will still run and then once the temperature for the the engine gets up to 219 then it'll kick on both fans high and low speed and then after both those fans run and both high and low speed fan cools the engine enough uh, down to, uh, you know, below 198.3 degrees Fahrenheit, then it'll turn the high-speed fan off, and the low-speed fan will keep running until it sees its threshold for the low speed, or for the low temperature, right? Which would be 196 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes sense? Tracking? It confuses me, too, especially when I was going through and changing all the parameters and trying to set my fan temps right. It took me some trial and error, so it'll take some trial and error, right? You learn learn by your mistakes. Just don't let your engine over overheat. And it's just fan stuff, so it's it's not gonna break the bank. You know what I mean? Um, all right. So we set the low and high uh, threshold for the fans. The next thing that you want to look at is your engine fan one time in seconds. So this is basically saying 
the PCM needs to see the engine running for at least one second, basically, until it decides to kick the fan on um, based on those thresholds that we set. Um, fan inhibit regulator time. Uh, I didn't do anything with this on mine. I just left it at zero. So you could do, you can leave it at zero as well. Again, results may vary. I don't know, I mean, but for me it works. Um, fan want on key off time. So this is amount the time that the, the fan, um, to keep the fan on after the ignition's turned off. So it'll just let the fan run for like a second after you turn the, the, the key is turned to the off position. Um, fan one turn off delay. This is just the delay before it actually engages or energizes the relay for the fan. Um, so just point two. Fan one turn on delay. Uh, point three seconds. Um, fan two on delay time. So this is just the delay it takes before uh, enabling fan two. You want this to be a little bit delayed because of the load that it puts on the, the you know, the electrical system, the charging system, when it puts that high current, you know, the, the current for the fan is drawn uh, from the high-speed fan for both fans, technically. Uh, so 10 seconds. Uh, fan to uh, turn off delay. So that's just the delay it takes until it turns the fan off. So 0.3 seconds. Uh, fan to turn on delay. 0.2 seconds. Uh, minimum fan to on time. So this is the minimum amount of time um, the fan needs to run uh, once it's energized, you know, and turned on. So it'll run for at least a minimum of 210 seconds. Um, it'll run longer than that, but that's the minimum time that it'll run. Um, and then for vehicle speed, high AC fan one. So this is just the, the speed at which um, the PCM needs to see before it will turn the low speed fan off. So you don't want the low speed fan on while you're going over, let's say 35 miles an hour. You want the fan to turn off because you're gonna be driving down the road and you'll have enough wind flow, you know, going through the radiator and everything to cool, cool the engine. Uh, so, uh, you'll set that to 35 or whatever speed you want, but you, it's, it's pretty much the standard, you know, uh, 35 miles per hour. And then for the uh, vehicle speed low, uh, AC fan one mile per hour per second. So you're going to set that to 30. So the PCM has to see that the vehicle is, is going at least 30 miles per hour or slower before it turns fan one or the low speed fan on. Um, so this is just kind of a rough overview of, of the parameters for enabling electric fans. Um, again, you know, this is just an example. I'm not an expert. Again, there's people that are out there. There's some of you guys that know more than me. Again, I'm, I'm new to this stuff. So I'm just sharing my experience and what I've found through trial and error. Um, and if you have AC, there's some other parameters that would have to be changed, which I, we can look at that later. I don't have AC on my build right now. So those AC parameters for electric fans, I, I, I don't even have those enabled. It's all cleared out. Um, I'm just using uh, just these fan parameters that we're looking at right now because I don't have AC. Because um, who needs AC when you can put the windows down? Windows down you know, 35 miles an hour. You got energy efficient, gas efficient AC. So that's what I got for you for electric fans. If you got any other questions about it, feel free to, you know, comment, provide feedback. If there's something I missed, um, feel free to comment too. I'm learning as well. Um, so uh, let me know. I love learning and I love talking to you guys. So uh, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time.